Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with an amazing smelly mail video to share with you. So this is a package from a beautiful subscriber named Sage. She sent me some amazing body sprays and one of the new vanilla fragrances from the Zara vanilla line um, and just a bunch of amazing things and yeah, big huge decants too. I cannot wait to share these with you guys. So anyways, I'm going to jump right in. She sent a lot. So the first thing I'll start with is this little guy. This is a little mini of the Sol de Janeiro uh, Delizia Drench Body Butter. This is the Chirosa 59 fragrance. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This is kind of like a sweet powdery floral, but still somehow a little bit gourmand leaning. I have not looked at this one at all, so I don't know what the notes are in this, but I have been using this on my hands at nighttime because my hands are so dry from this cold weather and it's beautiful i like fall asleep with my hands next to my face just sniffing this amazing smelling body butter so super excited to have this it's gorgeous and i didn't even know that this was out i know that they've been putting out a lot of like new scents um, but i haven't really kept up okay i've got a ton of decants so, and these are also, these um, atomizers that she sent these in are beautiful, super high quality glass, gorgeous. Um, okay, this first one here, this is the body spray that uh, matches this lotion. So this is the uh, Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 59 Hair and Body Mist. So I cannot wait to layer these. Um, Sol de Janeiro lasts forever. Um, oh gosh. Gosh, it's like a, kind of like a slightly powdery floral vanilla. Gosh, it's beautiful. So yeah, can't these last forever. They're like, the fragrance on them is nuclear. I've only ever tested the original and then I do have a body spray. It's in a, it's one of the blue ones that somebody else sent me, which I also love. And um, yeah, the fragrance lasts forever, especially when you layer them. So anyways, that is the first one. That is Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 59 Hair and Body Mist. Ooh, next we have the um, the Zara Vanilla one that she sent, and this is Zara Hypnotic Vanilla. Um, this one, it does smell like Dior Hypnotic Poison, but I'm gonna tell you what it smells more like than Hypnotic Poison. When I put this on my skin, and it could be just my chemistry, it might smell more like Hypnotic Poison on somebody else, but on my skin, this smells almost 100% identical to Police Forbidden. This is way more almond heavy and way sweeter than Hypnotic Poison. I wouldn't say way sweeter, but it is sweeter on my skin than Hypnotic Poison. This is much more like Police Forbidden. So if you are one of those people that have been wanting to get your hands on Police Forbidden, but you can't for whatever reason, you can't find it because it's gotten really difficult to find now, then run and get this Hypnotic Vanilla from Zara because it smells almost identical to it. This, for being a Zara fragrance, lasted a really long time on me too. I think I got, um, I think I got a good like four hours out of this, four or five hours. Yeah, I really like it. I enjoy it. I am enjoying this one so much because it's so much like my police forbidden. So anyways, let me know. I can do a whole video if you want me to compare the two and um, test them side by side and, you know, let you know all the details. Let me know and I'll do a whole video if you want me to. Um, but anyways, that is our hypnotic vanilla. Okay, next we have, this is uh, Burberry Brit. This is the EDT formulation, which I do not have. And this is the original formulation of Burberry Brit. I have the EDP, but I have never had the EDT. Oh my gosh, and it's beautiful. It smells a lot like the EDP, but it's lighter. It's lighter and brighter, a little bit more clean smelling. 
I'm still getting that kind of pear almond combination, but it's just lighter and I don't know, almost a little bit more wearable than the EDP. It's really beautiful. Cannot wait to test this one. I love Burberry fragrance fragrances, so I'm super excited to have another one to be able to test and to have in my collection. So that is Burberry Brit, the EDT formulation, and it's the original formulation. Okay, the rest of these, I think the rest of these are um, body sprays, and again, these beautiful atomizers. They're so gorgeous. Um, okay, so this one is from Bath & Body Works, and this is called Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I don't know if I would be able to get this um, anymore. I might be able to find it on like Mercari or something, but this is gorgeous. It really is just like a warm, cozy vanilla. When Bath & Body Works does vanillas well, they do them so well. And this one is really, really good. This one is almost gourmand leaning. It's so yummy. I need to bust out a good vanilla lotion, probably my vanilla cashmere from EOS. That's my favorite. It's been my favorite vanilla lotion, but yeah, I'll bust that out and then I'll layer this over it. It's so beautiful. So anyways, that one is a cozy vanilla bourbon from Bath and Body Works. Sticking with um, Bath and Body Works. So she sent, this is the Vanilla Bean Noel body spray. This is the 2023 formulation. Um, I, mine is I think a couple or a few years old and she said that this year's formulation was really, really good. So I was so excited to smell it because I love Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh my gosh, and it is so good. And I've got a sugar scrub and a moisturizing body wash. I've got the lotion and I'm gonna layer it all and just smell like a delicious vanilla confection. I love it. There's a cleanness about Vanilla Bean Noel. It's real. I don't know. I love it. I think it's such a good scent. So I'm super excited to try that one. Um, and then the other one, I had been wondering about this one. I saw a few little things um, from this scent in the semi-annual sale and I just didn't know. So I didn't grab it. Um, but this one is called Fresh Vanilla Blossom. And I think really all they had was was the body spray. I don't think they had um, the lotion to go with it. So I didn't, I didn't grab it. Oh my gosh, this is so good though. It really is very, it's like a fresh, clean vanilla. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. It's sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. And it's, I wouldn't even say this one is really gourmand. It's like this beautiful, sweet, clean vanilla. It's creamy. It still is creamy, but not like overly gourmand. It's gorgeous. I love it. I wish I would have picked the body spray up now, but that's okay. I'm glad to have a big decant of it. So that one is called Fresh Vanilla Blossom. Sorry, Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. You might see a, a, a cattail swish in here because she's up here with me. This is big old flower girl. She's such a big girl. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Let's see if I can get her. Oh, big girl. Oh, this is sweet flower. She's purring and look at her gorgeous eyes. Look at those beautiful eyes. She's such a beautiful cat. She's like a gray calico. She's fantastic and she's got the sweetest little disposition. Yeah, you do, you sweet big girl. She's huge. She's huge. Oh, big girl. Oh, now that I've got cat hair all over my face. That was a nice little kitty break. Okay, I was so excited when um, she said she had Sweet Tooth from Sabrina Carpenter's. This is the body spray. Um, and I was so excited to be able to smell this because I've been saying that I want to pick up... I want both of the Sabrina Carpenter perfumes because they just look like gourmand dreams and I've been wanting to pick them both up um and yes now that I've smelled the body spray I absolutely am gonna grab these perfumes at some point um every time I go into Walmart though I forget 
I probably just need to order it online because then I won't forget. But yeah, super excited to give this an all over good spray. I'll probably layer it over some nice vanilla lotion. And yeah, so I'm super excited about that one. That is Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth. The next four, and these are the last four, these are all Victoria's Secret body sprays. And I think these are all, I think that these are all the winter ones from this year. Um, I could be wrong. They could be from maybe last year or another year, but I think these are from this year. So the first one is called Snowdrift. Oh, this one is so nice. Ooh, this one is beautiful. This one is slightly sweet, clean, fresh. I'll put the notes on the screen for you. I love this. It's delicate smelling, maybe a touch floral, like a delicate, sweet, clean, light floral. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to test these all, which I will. In the upcoming weeks, I will be working my way through all of these. And as I do, I will update you on what I wore last week video. Um, I did, I have worn the Hypnotic Vanilla and I didn't put it in my past what I wore last week video because I think that will end up going up before, before this video and I try to just not do that. But anyways, um, okay. The next one we have is Victoria's Secret Night Sip. This one, this one is like a, let me spray this on a card. This one is like a patchouli. It smells like patchouli. This smells like something that I know. It's so, so familiar. This is like a kind of slightly sweet, maybe even like a touch green, like a floral patchouli or like a woody floral. It's really pretty. Um, so, yeah, so that is that one. That is called Night Sip. Really strong. That one is super strong for a body spray too. Like really strong for a body spray. It's super nice. I love these atomizer, these atomizers too. I love the frosted glass. I just think they're gorgeous. Okay, this one is called Sun Slope, again from Victoria's Secret. Um, Charlotte sprayed this one on the other day. Uh, before we went out. She loves Victoria's Secret body sprays and stuff. Oh, and this one's beautiful. This is like, a, it's kind of like an icy coconut. It's a coconut that doesn't smell beachy. It smells cold and icy and kind of slightly gourmand, light, really crisp and fresh, but still sweet and kind of slightly creamy. It's weird because it, ha it does have like a coolness about it. It's really beautiful. Can't wait to um, try this one. I will layer that over a coconut lotion. And then last but not least, we have Victoria's Secret Frost Melt. Ah, this one I love. This one is gourmand. This one smells like something yummy to eat, like a kind of light, sweet, vanilla pastry or vanilla donut or kind of maybe even like a light caramel, like a light caramely donut. Ugh, it, this one's so good. I can't wait. This is going to be gorgeous over my vanilla cashmere lotion. Um, it's that same kind of a scent. It's beautiful. So that one is Victoria's Secret Frost Melt. And thank you so much to Beautiful Sage for sending all of these amazing decants over. I cannot wait to work my way through them. And oh, I'm gonna enjoy them so much because the, every single one of them is just right up my alley. Um, again, I will update you as I work through these and what I wore last week video. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.